two time. I'm back, y'all. Hey, what's up? What's up? Hey, man, for you beginner hunters, man, picking a rifle that's going to be suitable for you, man. Hey, I ain't like everybody else. I ain't going to tell you, go out there and get no 300 wind mag and you really just never shot a rifle because it's got a lot of kick to it. Um, what I suggest, if you're a first-time hunter, because when you see a deer for the first time, man, that adrenaline is pumping, man. It's pumping. Uh, you shaking. You know, it's, look, it's a lot, man. I took one of my partners for the first time last year ever, and he had a good time. He seen a deer, but it was a lot for him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what I would say is, first time, a good a good option is run a, a shotgun, man. Whether it be 14, 12 gauge, uh, 20 gauge, any one of those. You can run, what I would run is not slugs, man. I wouldn't run slugs right off the bat. That's just me. Broaden it up right here. Double loss. Double law is a dang good shell to run when deer hunting. YouTube, it is empty. A little empty. Same direction. That's how you know ain't nothing in it. Anyways, um, 12 gauge is a good option, man. Um, shotgun is a good option, really. Um, next, moving up, man. If you a first time on hunter and you don't really want a lot of recoil, you can always go with either a, a 243, which is don't have as much recoil, a 300 blackout, don't have a lot of recoil. All these right here are chambered in youth guns, you know, youth rifles. Um, you can you can hunt with those. They don't have a lot of recoil, so they don't put a lot of whooping on the shoulder. Um, what I moved up from, I started with a 410 single shot. What I moved up from that was, I moved up to this. Remington 336. I mean, a Marlin 336. Right here, man, Marlin 336 is an awesome rifle. It's probably this, this right here is chiming in 3030 Winchester. 3030 Winchester probably... This Marlin 336 probably took more white tails in America than any other rifle. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. I'm thinking of it because this is a very popular rifle. It's not a whole bunch of recoil. It's got a lot of stopping power for us. If you are taking a deer at 100 yards, 120 yards, um, 200 yards, kind of pushing it a little bit, uh, but it can get the job done with well-placed shot. Uh, this right here, this rifle right here, I done took several deal with it. Over eight, you know, uh, for my lifetime of me being hunting with this rifle. Uh, I did put a scope on it later on, but I ran uh, iron sight for a while, man. What thing about iron sight, they always, you don't have to worry about bumping the tree or knocking it off like you do a scope. Um and, and the follow-up shots are a lot faster than looking through a small glass. Uh, but this scope right here, I have took deer with this one. Um, this one right here, another Marlin 336. This one right here is chambered in 35 uh, Remington. Dang good load, not a whole bunch of recoil, good stopping power. This rifle right here took many deer. Um, like I said, man, the main thing is you want to be able to handle the recoil. Um, a lot of your shots ain't going to be 100. Just because you deer hunt down, man, they're going to be 100 yards down. Be, like you see on YouTube where people hunting out in the field, we hunt wooded areas too. And most of those shots were made, are made within uh, 60 60, uh, 50 to 60 yards. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the farthest in most wooded areas. Um, especially here in Mississippi. 50 yards is, it, if you ain't hunting on the field, that's, that's kind of rough. Uh, now if you want to move up something with a little bit more recoil, you got right here is the, uh, a 30, uh, 30 out six. This is Remington 742, uh, Woodsmaster. 
it's a dang good gun for for what it is. I've been had it for a while. Um, it's got a lot of recoil running that uh thirty out six. Another gun that's got a lot of uh pretty decent amount of recoil, but it is a dang good rifle. That's a two seventy Winchester. Um, a real popular hunting rifle is a thirty out six. I mean a three oh eight. I mean that's a real popular hunting rifle right now. And, and 308 actually has a little bit less recoil than a 30 out 6. With it, with the 30 out 6 being a long action uh, cartridge versus a short action cartridge, 30 out 6 got a little bit more. Same thing with uh, 270. It's a long action cartridge versus a short action cartridge. 270 got a little big thump behind it. Uh, trying to see, man. Like I said, 300 blackout. That is a dang good first time hunters. Uh, another good uh, good load to run is a uh, 44 Magnum. 44 Magnum is awesome. Uh, within that 50 yard range, if you got 44 Magnum uh, lever action or single shot. Dang good one. Um, stepping it up. If you are a bigger guy and you think you can handle a little bit heavier uh, load. Um, you can run 35 Wayland. 35 Wayland is a good one. Uh, um, for good brush hunting, you, you got a uh, 4570, which is one of my favorite cartridges. But it takes somebody to hold on to that 4570. It, it has a lot of recoil. Uh, 300 Win Mag, a lot of recoil. 700 Magnum, a lot of recoil. Um, but it's up to you and what you can handle. If you're a smaller frame person, or just not uh, have shot larger calibers. You want to start with something a little bit smaller. Don't go for what you see on YouTube all the time. Oh, they were hunting with 300 wind mag. You're probably not ready for a 300 wind mag. You know, what if you make the shot, deer go down, you watching the deer, deer get back up, but your shoulder hurt. How can you make that follow-up shot? You worried about the kick. You gonna make, maybe you miss, you know? Or you maybe you missed the first time the deer give you a second opportunity. Well, you're thinking about the recoil, you might miss again. You know, you gotta take all that in consideration when hunting. But it can be done with a smaller caliber, a less recoiling caliber on the market. Like I say, you got 12 gauge, 20 gauge, and 14. All those are great options, man. So don't don't limit to don't limit yourself to um, ammo or cartridges or, or or whatever that you see just on TV because those guys been hunting for a long time. You know, that's the goal with me. I ain't gonna tell you go out there and get a 300 win mag on your first go. Yeah, you can learn to shoot that, but you know, you're gonna go through a long trial trying to learn how to shoot that, that extra load. You know, start off with something smaller if you know and, and progress and get better at it and you'll do better you know um like i said man it's a lot when even when you first time the first time you even see a deer man so take the time out uh, if you know somebody or whatever and you can go out there and have an opportunity to to um shoot or, or practice with a rifle to get used to that load then that's great. You know what I'm saying? Or if you can go to the gun range and you can actually rent a rifle that's chambered in what you are looking for, then that's great. They give you some kind of uh, insight on how much recoil, how much, you know, how much kick it's going to give you. And then that'll prepare you a lot more. Um, but if I say you can get something with a little less recoil, you're going to do a lot better because you're not going to be worried about how much it kick when you see that animal. Um, like I said, that's me hunting deer. Um, whitetail, uh, if you want to say. So, man, first time hunters, man, check this out. I, hopefully, I gave you some tips on what what calibers that you can try to look into uh, from going from smaller to larger uh, calibers. Hey, man, I appreciate y'all rocking with me, man. Deer me two times.